Millbrook has been in the welding and fabrication industry for the past 10 years. What are the current challenges that you are seeing in the industry at the moment? That's a fantastic question. So our customers today are also dealing with their customers' demands. The complexity of projects are going up, the volume of the projects are going up, and they want it all done in less time. At the same time, you have global supply chain, pressure, inflationary or otherwise, pushing the operational costs way higher than they used to be. Makes it harder to compete, makes it harder to make money and margins. Add on top of that, the entire issue around talent acquisition, retention, and attrition. Attrition referring to the turnover in the, in the welding industry. But let me turn around those challenges into opportunities. My saying is, comfort and growth are allergic. Change is a growth agent. Use, that, use those challenges in order to come up with opportunities to grow. And so, removing the bottlenecks, reducing the costs, and increasing the profitability per square footage at the facilities while going after more business, winning more and earning more by doing new alloys, by looking at new industry, uh, new industrial verticals, and looking at the talent problem, making it safer for the welders, allowing the current welders to extend their careers and attracting new talent through the use of the latest gear that the new generation's loving and, and, and demanding. How do Novark solutions like the spool welding robot, Navi Autonomy, and SWR Tip Tick help resolve these challenges and give companies a competitive edge? So the key word there is solution, not a product. I call that a partnership across the industry with us as a technology provider and the solution provider. And when you look at automation in general, the actual automation piece is 30%, 40% of what our customers need to do. So it's a journey that we take with them. The other 70%, 60% is change management, whether that's people or process. And we've gained so much traction with our customers. We currently have logged more than 40,000 hours of arc on time with our solution. That's equivalent to more than 80 years of a pipe welder of experience. And so, you know, add to that, if you want to look at it differently, 400 miles of welding we've accomplished with our current solution. That's going around Manhattan four times. Now let's get more specific. Our solutions cover uh, GMAW, which is MIG, or GTAW, which is TIG. And our value proposition is around open root pipe welding, root to cap, non-stop, X-ray quality, and we achieve that with less than 1% repair rate our customers are 6%, sometimes up to 16% of repair rate. Now, all of that, you boost it up even further. Our NAV-I technology allows our pipe fabrication shops to have autonomous welding. And the welder walks away from the weld, allowing him to gain even more productivity. So now, what does the future hold for Novark in the evolving landscape of fabrication and welding? So, we have um, a customer success team. That's actually four times the size of our sales team. The future is what we want to achieve with our customers. Going back to what I said earlier about the partnership, the reason we have such a large team, one of the few in the industry with a team and department called customer success is we want to move them alongside the journey to the future. The automation technologies, the AI technologies, image processing technologies, and robotic technologies are not staying constant. They're also a journey. So us together, in a continued partnership fashion, we move them along. And the experience we've gained in pipe fabrication, pipe welding, has allowed us to now use the same experience that we have gained to apply the application of AI into other verticals, other welding applications. So the future is endless, if you ask me, and it's about continuous improvement for forever.